are in the Town Hall Square. Known throughout the 19th and early 20th century as Constitution Square, as Republic Square in the 30s, and also popularly known as Placeta Faire in Patuis, in local dialect. For centuries, the ground or floor of the plaza was paved or rullado with small granite stones from the country. Today, it is covered with slabs. The black slabs mark the way for dancers or bayados in Patuis when performing the Val de Venasque in honour of the patron Saint Martial, an ancestral dance from Venasque where the dancers move in a zigzag and spiral manner to the centre of the square, where a lime tree stands representing the image of the patron Saint. In the large circular space of the square we find two large buildings or places of power, the church and the village house or town hall. There are also great houses from the town, Valencia House or Perefereth House and the magnificent Faure House, both from the Ferrath Saga. The Town Hall, also known as the Town's House, is a grand stone building with a slate roof which is split in the middle by a triangular pinnacle. The main entrance has two semicircular arches and the coat of arms of Juan de Aragon, Earl of Ribagorta, is located between them. The construction is characteristic of these type of buildings in Aragon. With an elegant and grand facade, a little depth and large windows. It has large interior rooms for meetings and other acts, used by the municipal government and was built with the idea that it would be used as a public space for council and university meetings. Built during the 16th century, it is recorded that council meetings were already being held in the Vanaske community village in 1550. The building was burnt during the War of Succession in 1712. Many of the important municipal archives were destroyed. Since then, the building has been rebuilt and renovated several times to achieve the appearance it has today. St. Mary's Church. It is essentially a Romanesque construction which stands on a Latin cross and can be documented back to the 11th century. The current Eclecticism temple reflects the various reforms made with an early Gothic style in the 12th and 13th century. It was later renovated in the 16th century. The sanctuary and dome were destroyed after the War of Succession, which was later rebuilt in Baroque style. In the 20th century, the temple was burned down in 1925 in an accidental fire and destroyed during the Civil War in which the centennial tower bells were blasted into the air. It is a three-storey building with a square floor with mouldings and openings for the bells. The village cemetery was located close to the church and the courtyard until the 19th century.
After walking along Castle Street, we arrive at Avenida de Francia. There is an informative sign which marks the beginning of the road which leads us up to the castle. The construction of the castle began in the year 1590 approximately. It is situated on a rocky outcrop close to the urban area of Venasque. It was used as a defensive fort suitable for artillery as ordered by Philip II in 1592. The plans and elevations that are conserved today were probably developed by Tiburcio Spanocchi. His style can be recognised in the long and narrow form of about 100 metres length. Its foundations and base can still be recognised despite the abundant vegetation. Paradoxically, a demolition order came through a wrongful judgment made by a son of a member of one of Anaskis' distinguished families, Valentin Ferrath Barao, general and minister of war during the reign of Isabel II, performing the demolition in 18.
Earls of Ribagortha Palace Earls of Ribagortha Palace in Vanaskem High Street A Renaissance style building from the mid 16th century Its elegant windows are highlighted with from fine borders busts of the earls with corrugated grooved bases and underneath the coat of arms with a rampant crowned lion is found the doorway has a semicircular arch with square column pedestals. It was probably built by the Earl of Ribagortha and the Duke of Villahermosa, Don Martin de Aragon, and his wife, Luisa de Borja, to which the busts on the façade correspond. In the 17th century, it was the headquarters for the General of Customs Office owned by Pedro Sanz de Ragatillo. It later changed ownership to the senator of the kingdom, Antonio Albar Anglada. Its rooms were used as barracks by the Mountain Battalion Army of the Republic, known as the Alpine Battalion during the Spanish Civil War. It finally became the Albar family residence until 2005, at this time, this historic building became public property of the municipal to host the cultural centre, Palacio de los Condes de Ribagorza.
Medieval Bridge We are facing the Medieval Bridge. It is a Romanesque bridge dating from the 11th century. It allows access to the town of Anask, avoiding the strong current of the Essera River. Architecturally, it has undergone various transformations due to successive floods. We know it was refurnished in the 14th century in Gothic style and later rebuilt in the 18th century. In 1925, another flood, the largest and most serious documented, made the central arch collapse. It wasn't rebuilt until 2005. San Martin. Built between the 10th and 11th century, it disappeared as a monastery, although it remained as a parish church until the 17th century, and later as a shrine until the late 18th century. During the War of Independence, it was demolished on the order of the French commander, Falk. The cemetery includes burios from the Bardaxi family and other distinguished families from Anaske. Its archaeological remains were recovered and studied between the years 2006 to 2008. Presentation We are in the Centro de Ciencias de Venasque, Pedro Pascual. It is a first-class infrastructure forming part of the Spanish scientific institutional system. The centre offers the possibility to organise meetings in a truly international atmosphere in the heart of the Pyrenees. The centre is governed by a non-profit foundation with his own legal entity. It enables researchers from all over the world to participate in important scientific events organized by the center. 
The use of the centre is open to the entire international scientific community. Any group of scientists may propose the organisation of an international meeting focused on a specific topic. The organisers offer secretarial services, computer systems, information support for the different events, registration of applicants and hotel reservations, etc. etc. Their house. It was built in the mid 16th century. The key shield on the doorway dates from 1567. This building was originally home to the Kugera family in the 15th century and subsequently sold to the Hustin family, originally related to Arthusa, who settled in Vanaske from the 16th century. Hoste House is comprised of a rectangular housing area, 18 metres by 6 metres, divided in two parts with a tower of about 15 metres high. The tower is detached and located on the north side, projecting out slightly from the facade. The function of the tower was to provide shelter and protection to the inhabitants, giving it a clear air of a palatial residence. It is one of the most beautiful and interesting houses in the village with its large square tower and the Huste coat of arms is found above the semi-circular arched doorway on the main facade. <laughs> 